Chancellor Perlman, administration and faculty, distinguished guests, families and friends, and the UNL graduate class of 2015. It's a real honor to be here today and to share in your celebration. In my youth, I was an active member of a 4-H club, a youth development program that's sponsored by the Cooperative Extension Service of the land-grant systems. In fact, 4-H is the nation's largest youth development organization. I suspect that many of you are or were 4-H club members like me. During my youth, at the beginning of a 4-H club meeting, we recited the 4-H pledge, which reminded us of what the four H's stand for, head, heart, hands, and health. The Pledge and 4-H Youth Development and Leadership Program have provided li life's lessons that served me well throughout my career. And so I'd like to share my take on them with you this afternoon. The first H stands for head, reminding us to think before acting and speaking and to be open to learning. You know how to learn or you would not be here this afternoon. The important thing, though, is to continue learning. Seize every opportunity to learn something new. Be a lifelong learner, because the only thing you can count on besides death and taxes is change. Therefore, continuing to learn is going to be essential in helping you adapt to the rapid changes that no doubt will face you in your future. Education was essential for landing my dream job, as it will be for you. And once you've landed your dream job, you'll need something else to succeed. Hard work and perseverance. This lesson, the importance of hard work and perseverance, cannot be overemphasized. In fact, a strong work ethic may be the single most important ingredient to success in any career. As Colin Powell said, quote, there are no secrets to success. It's the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. The second H in that 4-H pledge stands for heart. Follow your passion. Do what you love. I've held a lifelong fascination for textiles, their design, their textures, their presence in our lives from cradle to grave, their differences across time and culture, their history, and their science, their physical and chemical properties. In short, I wanted to learn to know everything I could about textiles. My passion led me to research and eventually to publish a book called Nebraska, book, uh, Nebraska Quilts and Quiltmakers, as the Chancellor just mentioned, which did win the Smithsonian Frost Prize for Distinguished Scholarship in American Crafts. And that book, and with that award, caught the attention of a generous and visionary couple who shared my passion for textiles, quilts specifically, which in turn eventually led to the establishment of the International Quilt Studies Center at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Never in my wildest dreams when I joined the UNL faculty 31 years ago did I imagine that my passion would lead to an academic center and a museum in Nebraska dedicated to this American icon. But it did. And it happened through hard work, passion, and perseverance. So stay true to your passion. You'll find that's what you're good at, and that's what makes you happy. The next day, H stands for hands, hands for larger service. Find ways to serve your community, your 
country, and the world. When service is a, a lot more enriching and rewarding than amassing riches, when you make the choice to help others, whether it is helping to raise funds for a humanitarian cause or lending a helping hand to a neighbor, you will never regret it. The last H stands for health. Learn what it takes to have a healthy lifestyle, then act on it, eat right, get enough sleep, and take time to slow down. Take care of yourself and take time to notice the small wonders around you. A warm breeze on a summer day, the beauty of flowering fruit trees in full bloom in the spring, a warm or heartfelt hug from a friend, or a spectacular Nebraska sunset. On your road to success, take care of yourself and take time to wonder because life goes by in an instant. So keep learning, work hard and persevere, follow your passion, find ways to serve your community and world, and slow down and take time to wonder. In closing, let me leave you with Ralph Waldo Emerson's definition of success. He said, success is, quote, to laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a little better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to know that even one life has breathed easier because you have lived that success. Thank you.